and welcome back to another awesome electric guitar soloing lesson here on Lickin' Riff in which you're going to learn this exquisite country blues chicken picking super lick which you can play over your rock, over your blues, over your country even some heavy metal soloing can tolerate this uh, ex if executed right um, you can play this in shuffle eighth note rhythm or you can play it in straight eighth note rhythm Gotta love that A7 ending. Build up to the chord uh, chromatically. So, this super lick is actually made out of 10 spectacular licks on their own. Okay, so before we start, just reminding you of the guitar giveaway. I'm holding a guitar giveaway raffle at the end of this summer to all new members of my course program, the Lick and Riff course program. Okay, um, I have a new platform for the courses and there are already 12 courses waiting for you there. And I am releasing a new course every month. This month's new course is Theory Unlocked, a complete theory course applied to the guitar, so it's not just theoretical concepts, it's also applied theory, so you can understand what all those concepts mean. But aside from the theory course waiting for you already there are the ear training course, Ears of Steel, uh, the ear training boot camp, which is Ears of Steel part two, um, arrangement training, Travis picking secrets, finger style technique toolbox, all the finger style techniques that I know, intuitive composition, acoustic soloing, rhythm mastery, and much, much, much more. Fretboard vision, okay? One of the best courses I've ever produced uh, designed to help you see the fretboard, visualize music on the fretboard. Okay, so all of these are already waiting for you there. And one new member at the end of the summer is gonna win a Journey Instruments Puddle Jumper Acoustic Guitar. So join at lickandref.com slash courses and uh, I will see you on the other side, right? So the licks that comprise the super lick. Not sure that I played the correct chromatics at the beginning, but it's chromatics, so there are no wrong chromatics, okay? All chromatics work. So uh, even if you're playing instead of, okay, it's still chromatics. So what's going on with the first line? The first line is actually the second position of the A minor pentatonic scale, leading chromatically down into the first pentatonic box. Okay, so if you pay attention, right? this is a really nice way to lead chromatically. Now, you can use these licks separately in your playing. This is a treasure trove of chicken picking licks. Now, it doesn't have to be chicken picked. You can play it with a pick, but I like the twanginess of it. Okay? So you can play it in hybrid picking as well. All right. So it's 10, 9, 8 on the first string. You can just pull them off. Or you can pick them. And then you have 10 on the second string. Right? A normal blues line. Um, and then starts the chromaticism. So you play uh, 7 on the first string. And if you look at what's going on, you have 10 on the second string, seven on the first. You play this, you take it down one fret and you play it again, okay, so it's nine and six. And then one fret down, it's the pentatonic box. So it's eight and five. So basically there's only one note out of place. 
Okay, because all the rest are scale notes. Okay, so um, that's the first line. Right? And then the next line is this. Okay? It's a Dorian line. Okay? It's a Dorian line because you have have this. Okay, you have seven on the second string, so it's a Dorian scale. All right, so pentatonic, eight pull off to five on the second string, and then it's just again another descending line with exactly the same pattern. So you play strings three and two, okay, on eight, on seven, on five. And then you have this. Okay. Seven pull off to five on the third string. And then you have seven on the fourth, and then seven on strings two and three together. Seven on the fourth again. And then it's five on strings two and three, and you hammer on six on the third string. Right? Now, when you play the beginning of this lick, the 7 pull off to 5 on the 3rd string, you can actually play both the 2nd and 3rd strings. Right? You can play two variations. So, and then you do exactly the same uh, idea on the next set of strings. So it creates a rhythmic displacement. Okay? It creates an interesting rhythmic displacement, which we'll talk about later. This is what makes the rest of the lick really interesting. So, it's 7 pull off to 5 on the 4th string. And then you have 7 on the 5th, 7 on the 4th, 7 on the 5th, uh, 5 hammer on to 6 on the 4th. So, it's the same pattern as the previous lick. But if you don't wait in between, you get that rhythmic displacement. Now, if you want it, uh, if, if the, the, the lick were to be symmetrical, it would have sounded like this. Okay? You would have to play a note twice. Okay? You would have to play a note twice, but because you're not, the uh, the repetitiveness without that extra note creates a rhythmic displacement, which we're gonna cover later on. Okay, but this is the place where the lick uh, falls or stands. Okay. Okay. Listen to it. Okay, one of them is one, ta -da -da -ti -da -ta -da. and the other one is ti -da -da -ti -da -da -da. Okay, the accentuation is different. The accentuation on the beat is different. If you can't hear it, we'll cover that later on. But just know that this is where the lick uh, gets its uh, power. So now you play. which is kind of the same idea, but in a completely different fingering. So you play seven slide to five on the fifth string, and you pull off to three. 
And then you play five on strings six and five. And then you play five on the sixth again and three, ha um, not hammer on, three slide to four on the fifth. Okay, it's not a hammer on this time, it's a slide. Now, I hope that you can see how you can actually use these legs separately in your playing, okay? This is a really nice cache of, uh, of spectacular and useful legs. So after you slide to four, okay, three to four, you play this. So you did the slide to four and then you play uh, you play seven five four on the fourth okay on the D string and between them you play the four on the fifth string so okay, and you end on four on the fourth string And then you play, with your little finger, you play seven slide to five on the fifth. And then two on the fourth. And then you have this, three hammer on to four on the fifth string, okay? Which are the same notes that you have slid before. Now you hammer them on, three hammer on to four on the fifth string, and then two pull off to zero on the third string. Okay? I played the third string twice by mistake, but it sounds nice, right? So it's not actually a mistake. And now you have the ending. It's three pull off to zero on the fifth string. And then you play the open sixth. So what you get actually for a moment is this. You get open strings, okay? But you don't really hear it when you play the lick. And then you play two and three on strings five and six, okay? A G chord head. You take it up one fret to G sharp. You take it up one fret to A. Now the cool thing here is that the third string is supposed to still be ringing. So you get an A7. You're playing the A chord head, okay, on the sixth and fifth strings. You play it on five and four, but the third string is still ringing, so you get A7. How cool is that? Now let's repeat the whole lick and talk about the displacement. Okay, so um, the rhythmic displacement here, okay, try to listen to the beat, okay, because okay, I tried marking the beat with my head. So you could see that the lick kind of moved 
in time uh, because of that missing extra note between these two licks. Okay, so what you get is a displaced lick, okay? Really, really try to hear it, okay? Because um, in the fast version, okay, the eighth note version, you it's really easy to miss, okay? Try to spot it, and then I'll play it in a shuffle beat, and it's a lot easier to spot because I'll be twanging, okay, the, the, the beat, okay? I'll try to twang the beat. Hey, could you hear it? Could you hear that the 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 interesting characteristic of the super lick um, comes around on the second half? That's because of the rhythmic displacement. Because there's supposed there's supposed to be an extra note there that keeps it straight, but because it's not there, the whole lick kind of shifts, and then the beats are not where you expect them to be. Okay. So um, practice this, have fun with this, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and go check out my course program, okay? And I'm waiting for you, the courses are waiting for you, and I will see you during the next live session, the live mastermind session, and uh, who knows, maybe you will be the one to win the guitar giveaway raffle. Right, so uh, thanks for watching, have fun, bye for now.